Hey students, welcome to Crazy Nurse RN channel. This is prepared by Crystal Mardukanis, nurse educator teaching fundamentals of nursing practice. If you have any questions or if you want to clarify some gray areas with regard to our topic today, please comment down below. I'll be glad to read your comments and answer your questions. Also, if you want to suggest any topic or content for our next videos, please write them below. And if you find this YouTube channel useful, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to keep you updated for our new video uploads. Please do not forget to check the description box below for additional inputs and some clarifications with regard to this lecture video. Our topic for today, planning. What is planning? Planning is the third phase of our nursing process. It is a deliberate systematic phase of nursing process that involves decision making and problem solving. Nurse refers to the client's assessment and data and diagnostic statements for direction in formulating client goals and designing the nursing interventions. What is a nursing intervention? It's any treatment based upon clinical judgment and knowledge that a nurse performs to enhance client outcomes. And the end product of the planning phase is a client care plan. There are three types of planning, namely initial, ongoing planning, and lastly, discharge planning. Initial planning. The nurse who performs the admission assessment usually develops the initial comprehensive plan of care. Ongoing planning. All nurses who work with a client do the ongoing planning. It occurs at the beginning of a shift as a nurse plans the care to be given that day. And discharge planning is the process of anticipating and planning for the needs of or for the needs after discharge. Crucial part of a comprehensive health care plan and should be addressed in each client's care plan. There are two types of care plan, formal and informal. An informal nurse or care plan is a strategy for actions that exist in the nurse's mind, while formal in nursing care plan is a written and computerized guide that organizes information about the client's care. There is also a standardized and individualized care plan. Standardized care plan is a formal plan that specifies the nursing care for groups of clients with common needs, while the individualized care plan is tailored to meet the unique needs of a specific client, needs that are not addressed by the standardized plan. Standardized approaches to care planning. Protocols. Protocols are pre-developed to indicate the actions commonly required for a particular group of clients. For instance, a client rushed to the ER with myocardial infarction. There's no need for nurses to create or formulate a nursing care plan because there's already a protocol followed, by the followed in the hospital. Policies and procedures. Developed to govern the handling of frequently occurring situations. For example, let's take dengue. Dengue is frequently happening in the Philippines. Therefore, there's already a pre-developed set of guidelines in handling or managing the case. Lastly, a standing order. It's a written document about policies, rules, regulations, or orders regarding client care. Let's take, for example, the DNR, or do not resuscitate. This is requested by the family to the health care provider or a licensed physician. Formats for nursing care plans. It is for organized in four sections. The, the problem or the nursing diagnosis, goals or desired outcomes, nursing interventions, and then evaluation. For nursing intervention, make sure that you have a rationale or a scientific reasoning why you have to do such action. Let's identify or define rational. 
It's the evidence-based principle given as the reason for selecting a particular nursing intervention. Concept map. It's also another method of organizing and representing care plan information. It's a visual tool in which ideas or data are enclosed in, in circles or boxes of some shape. And relationships between these are indicated by connecting lines or arrows. Multidisciplinary care plans or collaborative care plans. It's a standardized plan that outlines the care required for clients with common predictable, usually medical conditions. Includes medical treatments to be performed by other healthcare providers. What is a nursing process? First, there is setting of priorities, followed by establishing client goals, desired outcomes. Then, selecting nursing intervention activities. Lastly, writing individualized nursing interventions on care plans. Let's define first priority settings. Priority setting is the process of establishing a preferential sequence for addressing nursing diagnosis and interventions. Establish client goals or desired outcomes. What the nurse hopes to achieve by implementing the nursing interventions. Nursing Outcome Classification or NOC. A taxonomy for describing client outcomes that respond to nursing interventions. For nursing outcome classification, there is already a pre-developed set of nursing outcomes in the Nanda International Book. So the nurses doesn't have to formulate or create their own diagnosis. Instead, they have to identify an appropriate diagnosis for each condition or client or patient. Purpose of goals, desired outcomes. The first purpose of goals is to provide planning or to provide direction for planning nursing interventions. It also serves as a criteria for evaluating client progress. Enable the client and nurse to determine when the problem has been resolved. And lastly, it help motivate the client and nurse by providing a sense of achievement. There are two types of goals, short-term and a long-term goal. For short-term goals, this is useful for clients who require health care for a short time and frustrated by long-term goals. On the other hand, long-term goals are guide planning for discharge to long-term agencies or home care. This is also set for clients who live at home and have chronic health problems. Selecting nursing interventions and activities. The types of nursing interventions, independent, dependent, and collaborative. Let's define independent interventions. These are activities that nurses are licensed to initiate on the basis of their knowledge and skills, while dependent interventions are activities carried out under the orders or supervision of a licensed physician or other healthcare provider authorized to write orders to nurses. Lastly, collaborative interventions. These are actions the nurses carries out in collaboration with other health team members such as physical therapists, social workers, dietitians, and primary care providers. Writing individualized nursing interventions. Nursing interventions classification. It's also a taxonomy of nursing interventions that have been linked to the Nanda nursing diagnostic labels. Nurses do not have to create a nursing intervention since it's also a pre-developed set of nursing interventions available in the Nanda International Book. They just have to 
identify which, which is appropriate for a patient or for the condition of the client. Nursing intervention classification. Each broadly stated intervention includes a label or a name, a definition, and a list of activities that outlines the key actions of nurses in carrying out the intervention.